Welcome to the Billiard Network, the home of Global Pool on YouTube. Like and follow if you enjoy this. Our match today is Chris Mellon from England versus Oliver Ortman from Germany. It's a race to nine, alternate break. The nine ball is racked on the spot. Three object balls must go past the head string for a legal break. Three consecutive fouls by the same player is loss of game. I'm Earl Strickland for the Billiard Network. Ortman broke, won the lag, broke, didn't make anything. Uncharacteristically, he broke from the middle. I don't, uh, uh, haven't seen anybody break like that in a while. <clears throat> he snookered Chris Mellon. He's going to either a roll out or a kick at it. Uh, I know both players. Uh, Pretty well. I know Ortman better than Mellon, I guess. But uh, I probably know Ortman's game better than Mellon. I know Mellon's game all right. He's a good shooter, I'll tell you that. Real straight shooter. Jeez, he's sold out to jump the ball, looks like. But anyway, uh, yeah, he has pulled out to a jump shot. Well, they do that a lot now because they can jump and play safe with these jump cues. He's just going to jump it. And try to bank it. Looks like he's pointing his cue down here. He won't hit it too hard because he wants to control it and try to get some kind of safe if he doesn't make it. He left the shot, but it's a difficult shot to get back for the two ball. I can tell you that already. <clears throat> I've had this shot plenty of times. It's a real tricky shot getting back over even to where he can pocket the two ball. Uh, he might be better off to draw down towards the corner where the two is and try to play it over by the eight. Unless he can draw out of it, I don't think he can do that either. Ortman's got a, a, a really unique delivery, you can see. See, he tried to draw out of it, which was never going to work. I said that, and I knew it. He should have drew over near the pocket and tried to cut it by the eight. Uh, hell of a player. He, uh, he's been around a long time like me. <clears throat> This ball's frozen to the rail like a piece of sticky bubble gum. Uh, I don't think <laughs> if he fires this in, Drago, this is a shot for Drago right here. He made a shot on me like this. I left him like this, and he fired it in and warped the cue ball to the bottom rail, went between the six and the seven, and back down for the two. <laughs> that was in to beat me in, uh, in Holland. I think he'll go for it, maybe. He's a good shooter. You know, it ain't much of a safety. It don't look like it. <clears throat> you know what he could do? He could overcut the one, and the one will go towards the three. I mean, the cue ball. Overcut it. That might be a good shot. Or he's going to go for it, either one. I don't know. Yeah, he went for it. That's a hell of a shot to go for, I'll tell you that. Just... You really want to go for a shot like that sometimes because you just want the thrill of making it. The satisfaction of making it for you and the audience. Well, he can hit this into the rail and make it, or he can cut it straight down into the eight and make it. I like cutting it straight into the eight, this one, because the eight's sitting a little bit off the rail, even though he's looking at the one end of the row. I still like overcutting this one because the eight's sitting kind of, kind of weird, I think, a little bit. He 
You put left top on it and cut it in on the eight. Come across, place shape for the same corner. Or shoot it into the rail like that by the eight. See, I never liked that shot into the rail. I just didn't like it. All right, here's a nice, easy shot now he can probably go in. He'll make the eight ball combination, and he'll leave the one right there, I think, and bounce off and play the one in the same pocket. like that. And he might draw out a little bit or stay right there off the rail. Yeah, I knew he'd draw out off the rail. Perfect. And he might come all the way down or come to the middle. Yeah, he came all the way down. That's the way to play it. Take a little chance. You want to take a little chance, you amateur players out there, when Watch these guys play. We take a little more risk. A lot of right on this. Spin off. Weekend players. Uh, avid players, whatever you are. He'll just take the rest and draw back a little. He's real good with the rest. I'm not as good with that thing as I'd like to be. Left bottom, stun over for the side. He'll just roll forward and play the seven in the same side, probably. No, in the corner. I couldn't tell there. He'll just stop right there. Play the nine straight in and stop. Very first game is gone. Mellon leads one nothing, breaking from the middle. They must be breaking from the box. That's what it is. I didn't know that. So, cut, break. Left bottom he put on that. It looks like he's come off pretty good. He'll just kill this ball right there, the threes. Right there by the six. He'll put a lot of left bottom on it. He'll aim thick on the ball. It's a tricky shot, but you got to take it on. Or try to slam it and go to the rail and come off. He shouldn't do that. He can stay right there. Very real thick on the ball, a lot of spin. Just kill it like that, there you go. He was a little perplexed about it, but I didn't think that was that difficult of a shot for him. He's such a good shooter. He would either draw off and play the four right at where he plays the three, maybe. Well, nope. came off. See, he should have hit that harder and bumped into it or came back around that ball, I thought. He's all right, though. He can just cut it in and kill it. And he'll draw out or follow forward and bounce off. Draw it back, yeah. That's tricky where he left that one. I would have went forward, I think, there. But he's a good player. He can do anything. He's going to put a lot of right and go forward, I think. Yeah, good shot. He's a really, really crafty player, this guy. Believe me. A lot of right on this and just slide or to draw it over. Like that. He hit that ball well. It's hard to do. People don't realize how hard that shot is right there. He'll just roll this in. Straight ball. Yeah, he's smooth character, this guy. 2 nothing. Mallon. Ortman to break. They're breaking from the middle, which is the the dead man's break with the nine on the spot. He's, he's smashing them. He might not ever make one. That's for sure. He's <laughs> uh, the sellout city. If uh, you, you better cut them, is all I know. I get where I can't make them either at that U.S. Open breaking from the middle. He'll just cut this in and go back and forth and get to the middle of the table. Wow, he went three rails. That was really neat the way he did that. And he's straight in, perfect. He'll just stun it right there for the three in the other in the side to our left. Guys up there moved as he went to shoot. That always gets me too. People don't pay attention. Regroup the self. That was nice. He stunned forward just a few inches and he wanted to do that. And that ain't easy to do on that shot when you're a long ways away. He'll just draw back a little. Yeah. 
Now he'll just draw back again a little. Or stun over and off the rail, draw back a little. He's real good at drawing a ball. Now he'll just draw back a little and keep an angle right, for the six. Come, back here come over for the seven. In, uh, Italy, he'll Trace put a lot of left on this one. Dynamic. He'll go to the rail. He'll use two rails this time with a lot of the left. A little lower on the ball, and he'll just slide the ball real slow, like, like, well, it's the dynamic like a spin take. That's what you amateurs don't do. You don't hit the ball the right speed with the spin take. We started with All right. 192 participants. He'll put a lot of right on this. He might go three rails. I think he'll go three. Down to the last or he'll, yeah, he's eight. going three. Because it's too tight to go past the nine. If you were, you were looking, you could see how tight the position was going that way towards the side. That was a good point. Left bottom, draw off a little. We're stunned back over for the other pocket. He's an aggressive place. He'll draw with his side rail. So I know how he thinks, this guy. He's real good. Three nothing, melon breaking from the middle, left side, left bottom, trying to weasel the one in. And he weaseled a ball down in the other corner. And two balls went back and came back. This is a tricky shot. He's got to put some some right on it so that he can go into the six or bump into the two two and get something if he puts too much on it. If he tries to go down table, it's too tricky, looks like to me. Yeah, I was... He never really committed to that shot. I can tell you that right now. And it is a tricky shot, that shot. Say sorry, but... To put side on, right. He needed some right. Ortman, I don't see him play much anymore. Of course, this match is ten years old. I think I've seen him play once since then, or a couple of times maybe. We're almost ready for the pasture, aren't we, huh? Efren's in the pasture. I'm standing at the gate. I ain't never going in. I ain't never going in the gate. Don't worry. I don't think he can see the one ball. He's going to have to cross it and just come back and play a safe, I think. Or spin around it, try to make it and get shape on the two. If he can just get around the six. I can't tell exactly from all these views they gave me. Yeah, that's all he could do. And he butchered that. But he left it a dead man shot. I can tell you that. A complete dead man shot. He can't get shape on the two. I don't think. If he does, it's good. He did. But he still couldn't get where he wanted to get a little better shot at it to get on the three. He'd probably be better off just play safe here than to shoot at it. That was a good shot he got to there. That was a good shot to get to there, I'll tell you. I didn't think he could get to there. <clears throat> Told you, this guy's got some game. He's still in a, in a funny spot. He's going to try to cut this in with inside. I saw where he's pointing. This is a great shot. One hell of a shot to take on if he, if he makes this. I'd draw it around. He's going to draw it three rows. No, I told him just play the safe. Or play the safe. He hit that great. The way he drew back, that was like uh, pure as the driven snow the way he hit that shot. This table must be dry, that's for sure. Because you can't execute shots like that with the tables too wet. Or it's dry enough. I like the rails on these tables. I always comment on them. I like because they respond nicely. But I don't know if they need to go to Florida. 
I was just in Florida doing an exhibition. Boy, was it sticky. Also here on our TV table. Had to armor all everything. Nine, six. Here goes Ortman with the jump cue. Stage of the, last 32, so you can't the charcoal jump cue. Yeah. And I don't fancy this shot either. It's pretty darn close to the seven, I'll tell you that. Yeah, undefeated side, both of the players. Ortman, our days are numbered, I think. Beat, uh, Gabor also nine games to three. Unless they give us a new body. <laughs> yeah, this shot looks like a dead man's shot, too. <laughs> He'd be better off to, to swing two rails real hard, try to hit underneath it down there in the corner somehow. Three rails into it or four. Or make it. It's not impossible to get past a six and make it, I think. Or go straight in the corner. I usually go straight in the corner on this shot. <laughs> when it's sitting like it is right now where there's two options, if he hits the bottom rail and hits it, it'll scratch too, I think. Uh, maybe. Maybe he'll kick it softer where it won't do that too. Oh, he hit the six. He was supposed to stun that. He tried to roll it. He would have had to hit that on the middle and stun it, I think, to miss the six. For sure. Oh, here goes Mellon again with a ball in hand, easy out. He'll just put some right bottom and use the rail. I don't know if he'll leave it straight where he wants to draw back straight. These guys like drawing back straight. I would leave an angle and then come back somehow. That's all right. He can just draw straight down the rail now. Yeah, he'll just put a lot of left bottom and just draw kind of down the rail. He'll hit the rail. Or he'll draw all the way back over. This is giving me a better angle, but I still think he can just draw right down the rail. Like that. Yeah. Perfect. He'll put left top, come straight down the table. Well, two rails. Well, good shot. That was a safer shot to make sure that he didn't get it going the other way. Now he'll draw back a little. That's a tough, tough shot. See, he still didn't hit it correctly. It's a tough shot for anybody. He'll put inside and just kill the ball. For one round, shoot nine in the same pocket. He'll roll it or stun it to the rail. Rolled it with left. Four nothing, Mellon leading. Ortman still with this smashing break he's going with. No, he cut him. He finally smartened up. He barely uh, made a legal break, but he made a ball and he's got a shot on the two. A nice long one. Kind of a tough shot when you're down four and nothing and you ain't hardly pocketed the ball. It ain't a shot you normally would miss. All he's got to do is just stop it right there. He'll have some kind of shot on the three to get to the four. Good shot. Oh, he went to the rail. That's a sign of deceleration. That he let that cue ball creep forward and didn't kill it. That's a sign of, of uh, getting a little older. Little shots you do. He'll roll forward here. Or no, he'll stay right there or roll forward. Either one. I don't know exactly one. Because I don't know if he's going to play the... I don't know if the five goes past the seven. Or does he have to follow this and come back and play the five in the same corner as the four? Or draw around and try to get on the five two rails? Or he's going to put a lot of inside and try to play the five back down the other corner. Wow. 
You really got your dad with that up and down, Gentlemen. the old up and down seesaw stroke. It reminds you a little bit of Davis, Steve, uh, Mike Davis. In the semifinals, you are going to He'll put a little right on this and just, uh, it's kind of tricky. He don't want to hit it too hard. He'll snooker himself with the seven ball. At, uh, but he needs to hit it hard enough where he lands right on the five. Oh, he went between them. That's a good shot. You will have a chance that was the right shot, I guess. He'll just stun right there. Off the rail. He'll just stun forward. At her. Yeah, two rails. Now he'll stun to the bottom rail with left middle. No, he'll draw straight over. I can see it now. He'll draw straight over. I don't like shooting that shot at all. He'll go two rails with left bottom. Right top or right bottom and draw it. I don't know which one he'll do. He rolled it with top, right top. Five nothing melon. Workman needs a lifeline. Mellon to break from the left side, left bottom, trying to weasel one in somewhere. And he, needs and he does it. Wow. That's amazing. This is a tough break when you uh, break from the middle Just and rack the nine on the spot. It's about as hard as it gets. Especially if the cloth has a little age on it. I think this does have a little age on it. It's not dead brand new. But it's dry enough to get one in here and there. In Florida, he'd never get one in. It'd be like breaking on a three-cushion table. He's going to draw this straight back, try to get on the two past the six. He's hit it beautifully. No, he's going to play the six combination. Not too hard of a shot. He should handle this relatively easily. Straight, maybe a little left top. Oh, I can't believe he missed that one. That was amazing. That was one of the easier shots, I thought. Wasn't that hard? But that's the way pool is. All right, Oliver, put a lot of left on this and just tap it in. He'll come back to the middle of the table, a lot of left. He'll hold up and down and stroke a lot of All right, he'll put left bottom and draw off the side rail back to the middle where his hand is. Or right bottom and draw back to where his hand yeah, is. Could have went either way, probably. It was a missable one. All right, he'll go two rails, or he'll go come over and stay against the rail, which ain't a bad play. Go two rails, back to the middle. Well, so, uh, now he'll put right bottom, draw back to the middle. Get the angle on the seven. He doesn't want to get too steep on it. He wants to get back enough to where it's not too steep. Like that. See, if he would have stopped about a foot shorter, a half foot shorter, it would have been a harder shot. Now he'll go three rails with high right. Around the table. Beautiful play here. Wow, he underhit it. Trying to get it. Well, he's got the yeah, really underhit that. The eight he'll hit straight top. Boy, his arm's gotten further out now than it used to be. Straight top and just whack it in and go back and forth. Into the corner pocket. And he just hit it nice and smooth. Done. He hit that one good, like the old Oliver didn't hit a rail. Who the win on a thimble look like? A little right bottom draw. Stun over. Oliver's on the board, 5-1 Mellon. Oliver the break. He smartened up. He's going to cut him. Right bottom, I see him spinning. Sending the cue ball into the stack to good break. He's got a funny shot, though. It goes, though. He might have to roll it in. The shot here is to roll the two past the four and and run into the seven or go underneath the seven and then shoot the three back in one of the corners. 
but he looks like he's drawing right away. He's going to draw into the six or something or try to kill it right there. And see, I never liked that shot. That's why I said to go forward. Uh-huh. Here he could just hit the top of the three and put him right behind the four, but that would be risky. No, it's no good. I can see it from here. He actually can put him behind the four with a lot of right left spin. It, could, it would creep right behind it if he puts a lot of spin on the ball and hits the three in the top. Oh, he could make it. I didn't know he could go for it. That was a good shot, Oliver. Cut it into the left corner. Real good. But, uh, it's the full ball. Very good shot. Some work to do for Oliver. Because he needs to well, all he's got to do is just make it, and the cue ball will come off the rail and come down for the five. He might have to stun it just a little bit on the middle to get it to come over for, for the five on our right, for the pocket on our right. That's the pocket he wants to get for and he butchered it. He tried to roll that. That was never going to work like that. I think if he would have made the ball, he might have hit the eight. I don't know. By a mile. He's going to stop right there or shoot. Yeah, stop right there and shoot it in the side and stop. Good shot. He went against the rail. I thought he could have stayed in the middle of the table. Side pocket. Maybe he wanted to go further over so he got a better angle and it's at five. He'll just do it straight top or a little bit of right and come down and shoot the six in the side where his hand is. He hit that awful good. That didn't ever threaten to miss, that's for sure. He'll go forward or draw back a little. Draw back. He wanted to draw back more than that. He, I mean, he... He didn't want to have to use the rest. I think he just loves using it. Seems like he's so good with it. Just draw back now. He seems like he's better with the rest than he is with all the, with his than he is with his own two hands. I have draw back or draw over with left. Draw back a little. And a little bit of left top. Let's roll it in. There goes the nine for six Christmas. one Mellon. Uh, uh, playing then the Mellon to break. Four ball. Left side, left bottom. Uh, playing position for the five. But it's Chris Melling then capitalizing from this Good mistake. Break. And it's uh, him now with the break. Leading yep. six games. He's got a shot. Oliver, Oliver Legal break. A decent shot on the two. I'd like to see Mellon play uh, play uh, placement pool. He'd be good at that. Uh, I don't know if he's going to draw this or follow it. He'll, Cause I think it'd be easier just to go three rolls with a lot of left to get shape. To get some kind of shape. See, he didn't care where that ball got. He was going to get a shot. See, so don't you don't have to play so perfect all the time. Just roll this in with top, come down for the four. Just play for vicinity sometimes, and that's all you need. He'll put some left or draw this. Put some left on it, came down for the five in the side. He'll draw this with left, go to the bottom rail. Oh, he went to the side rail. That's the way I play it. That's the way I was going to say, but... I said to myself, he would never play it the way I play it, would he? <laughs> and he did. <laughs> I said, I love playing that shot. He'll go two rails here with right. I know that. If he doesn't do that, I'm jumping in front of a car. He'll just stun off with right. He'll just miss the nine and stun off and come over for the eight. And he'll put left on this, and he'll draw past the sides. Gentlemen, uh, Chris Melling is here with uh, the eight ball. 
I don't know if he'll get to the rail over there past the side or not. He'll just draw back over. Playing position and for the nine. He's got a straight nine and this yes, is get to the next seven. Row. You never know if he's going to get that next row. And so just stop for the nine in the corner. Four. Beautiful. Portman breaks. Mellon's leading seven to one. This is a runaway. Portman's breaking right side, right bottom. He's figured out that he can't hit him head on. That's for sure. He's made a good break, but nothing. Not a good shot. He can't pocket the one ball. He's going to play some kind of safe, it looks like. Or put or roll out. But this is the way pool is, you know. It's always a runaway. Or you're getting bad rolls. Or of course, you can play bad, too. I don't know about this match. Wortman's played... I guess he's played poorly. And got a few bad rolls, too. So that's just the way you look at it. Back at the table. Looks like he can either stop the ball and bank the ball around the table. Or he can make it. I don't know. I can't tell from here. Yeah, he needs the I knew he had to cross there. it somehow. I didn't think he could see enough of it to even yeah. stop it. But he got away with it to some degree. But the score is like uh, out of hand, so it doesn't matter. Right now it looks like. I don't think he can win this match. Mellon might have to drop dead from the win this one. I guess he's just going to clip the one and send it around over and come one, two, three rails to the seven ball. Wow, look at that shot. Wow. Well, yeah, and he hit it. Seven. Pretty good, I'll tell you. Nice safety play for. Uh, Where he can't. Uh, he may be able to kick around the seven, but I kind of doubt it. I don't know. He's looking at it. He can see it better than I can, that's for sure. In fact, I mean, he's got to kick one, two, three, why he's, uh, six games up. or four rounds to hit this ball. Unless he can just shoot right around the seven ball and get to it. Which he can, I think. He snookered, but he has to shoot into the rail and go around the seven. I think. Or jack up and mass say the ball. Around themselves. Yeah, actually, he just has to spin the ball around it. Huh. At the one. Now he needs a bit of luck. Mellon's pretty unlucky not to uh, get it. wedge him on that one. Didn't get it. Now here, he'll either use that shot he used a minute ago that I didn't think he was going to use with the inside, or he'll go three rails. Or he'll use a little inside and go two rails and come just past the four. Or he'll hit a lot of spin and go two rails and just come just past the nine on the left side. Or he'll draw wow, and kill it like well, that, which... Huh. That didn't leave him nine. correctly. I don't. Five I didn't. Nine at this. Is it a four? Well, the stripe and the solid there in the middle of the table. So inside hmm. English. Uh, if he would have put more spin on it and got to the rail and then got back off, that would have been but, uh, more prudent. Okay. I mean, a better the shot. Three. I think he's got too much angle to do what he wanted to do now. But he still has a way to get on it. I think he can draw right over and then come behind it and hit it or something. Like that. Nice, nice job. Huh. How did I see that at the last moment? Oh, I played pool for a little. Really oh, strong. I forgot. <laughs> well, I'm getting a few of them right today. I had him in, uh, in Paris. I'll just put a little left. Uh, like, wow, draw this, out. This is going to be a surprise. I know. Oh, the nine goes. He's going to play the nine combination. Five, nine, Give me up. Served by eight, one. Mellon. Mellon the break. Left side, left bottom. I didn't even get time to tell any stories in this one. That didn't help. It's a runaway. Chris 
smelling at the table. He's got a cut shot on the two, which is on the rail, left side, the blue ball. Playing it inside and then uh, what? Letting the cue ball bounce. He maybe can gut this in. This shot is, is tricky. A lot of times it's hard. It'll, uh, it'll come off the rail somehow when you're trying to cut this in the way it's sitting. Safety. Oh, come on. Or he'll just bank it in and fly around the table. He's playing the bank. Very impressive. Uh, well, that's pretty good. It's perfect. You can just whack this one in now. Go back and forth, get for the side, see where he's pointing. was worrying about the six, you know, by... He hit that in, nice, in, with speed. I thought he would whack it in and spin around the table somehow, because I thought that's what he had to do. The bank and then that, was mer that was genius where he landed this ball to get on that ball, I think. But the table was slow. He meant to get for the other pocket, now he's got the easy combination. Things are going right, and he's playing great. And Oliver's, uh, you know, what can you do? He's, uh, he's held his composure. This time was uh, four eight. All you could do. Here he is. Uh oh, that man a little tricky. He's got just enough room to kill it right there or fire it in and stun it off the rail and do something. Just enough room with some right. He's going to land awkward on this one. But he's still okay. He can cut this in and come down and get... These pockets are, are sweet, though, I think. And it's dry there. The table was a little funny and wet. He wouldn't be able to uh, finesse all these little cuts in the way he's doing. I'll tell you that. It's dry. I like the way these tables play over there. But he's taking his time. I like it. Uh, they need to make the pocket a little bit tougher, though, when it draws the ball. All right, uh, he needs to cut this in and just roll straight down with top. Nice and smooth like that. Good on the six. Ooh, and he didn't. He almost scratched. I thought he was going to scratch. He'll just roll this in. He's got nerves of steel. These shots are tougher as we get older. Into the uh, side pocket, and now he knows. You see, he's stepping forward very He'll put a lot of left on this and come around and play the nine in the same Here's pocket. Here's the seven ball, goes into the corner, and that's the nine. Ladies and gentlemen, Chris Melling depositing the Left nine. bottom, draw the rail. He's the first man in the Here's your winner, Chris Melling over Oliver Orman. Uh, Thanks for watching, Orman and stay Orman tuned to the Billiard Orman. Network for more great pool action from around the world. I'm Earl Strickland saying goodbye.